take a look at this little bug I just stumbled across while in this room with Chrissy. Nobody's taking any steps. Everyone just sort of ice skating around. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I was moving northward from this position after I talked to Watts. And then from here, I just sort of, the screen turned black and I reappeared up here and Sprite was all the way over here stuck in this corner and nobody was walking. And I can't attack. Hopefully it fixes itself when I go through this loading screen. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm ready to move on. This is actually a bit of a different playthrough. I reloaded in order to... Oh, damn, missed both enemies there. Actually, is anybody going to take any hits from that gem missile? No? Alright, it's good. Since I didn't have any items, I sort of reloaded and I got back here. Now I have... I'm completely stocked. So I am good to freaking go. Now if I can just... Damn it. <laughs> the damn sprite's going to take a hit. There's no point in taking a hit this close to Chrissy. Something else I did is I did a little bit of grinding on... Um, on enemies on the surface of this map. And I went and made sure that I had all of the weapon upgrades for, um, not, well, not weapon upgrades, but yeah, yeah, weapon upgrades, sure, but I had those before. But I made sure that I had all of the armor upgrades, which were really what was important, and, well, it makes a difference. I took less damage, I was able to, um, survive the fights better, so I wasn't just getting my ass kicked. And man, those weapon or those armor upgrades are expensive. Weapon upgrades are even more expensive, I think, but it's not as big of a deal because I don't feel the need actually to upgrade something like the boomerang or something like that in a situation where like I don't really like using a boomerang anyway. I may not end up giving that to any of my characters. Once you go down here you won't be able to get back up for a while. So Make sure before you separate yourself from Chrissy that you're you are good to go. Right, damn! Oh, that was Sprite. <laughs> Can't get up there yet. Stupid duck. There's another step down. There's going to be a few of these in this area. It's sort of like a puzzle how you have to progress through. You have to find your way to a certain point, and then you what? <laughs> You have to find your way to a certain point and then activate a switch which opens these doors. Which will allow you to pass through certain spots. But if you don't... Oh, see, there's a switch there. Not right here, though. So I gotta go up this way. Chris, you're in the way, aren't you? I like this spear. There's a lot of damage. Of course, it has to hit. The enemies in this area have always been kind of... pain in the ass, um... pain in the ass targets. Haha, <laughs> doesn't look like a loading screen there, does it? Die, duck! Ah, screw it. It's not taking a lot of damage. The spear doesn't knock enemies out like the last one did. So, took an increase in damage, but a decrease in certain utilities. Now, another platform we jumped down. But, um... Oh, shit, you know what? There's a puzzle here. I'm gonna feel the need to kill this duck before I advance up there. Because I want to be able to, um go up with a charge and take the rest of those enemies out. Oh, it's dead and I just wasted that charge. Uh, I only lost time, but still. I'm out of range. They can't find their way down here, so dispel magic. I didn't have any magic on them. What? Uh, what? 
That's some bullshit there. Alright, alright. No dicking around. Stop attacking, Sprite. <laughs> I brought along... Damn it. I brought along plenty of restorative items, so I shouldn't... I shouldn't be screwed too bad in terms of being able to heal my characters up. Die! God damn it. What? Come on. What happened there? Oh, both of them are down. What? <laughs> Nobody had wall up, right? All right, fine. Enemies that just have that high of an evasion rate are just infuriating for no damn reason. You two need to die so I can complete this puzzle. The other one? Is the other one dead? Alright, oh. oh, okay. It's not a mimic. <laughs> oh, what the f... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alright. Red. Blue. Yellow. Green. Stupid shit. All right, that... Okay. We're pretty close to Chrissy, but nobody has any dam... Oh, okay, now Boy has some, a little bit of damage on him. What? <laughs> move, 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 move. And we're good. Um... What? Leave him alone. You all should be dying a lot easier. I gotta make sure I don't lose anybody now. So it would suck if I lost someone now. <sighs> Pain in the ass. <laughs> If I lost anybody other than Prim, it would be a disaster. Take that. Stupid uh, zombies or ghouls or whatever the hell they're called. Usually in the original game, I would just skip past these. But I kind of have an interest because I know I'm pretty close to level ups with the other two characters. I want to get a few kills in. Or at least I'm close to a level up with Prim. Uh, let's just check the stat so I'm not screwing around here. Pretty close. Far off. Getting there. I kind of want to see a level up before the next boss, because I know it'll restore everybody's... Restore everybody's shit. Everybody's magic, at least. Damn it. This is needlessly complicated. You should allow me to input commands, even if they're in the process of doing something else. It makes it a... I mean, you could in the original game. It just makes a lot of... for a lot of screwing around in the menu and not actually accomplishing anything. Especially since it's not really obvious which character you have... which character's menu you have open. Why 
Why are zombies riding the subway anyway? Well, spear level 7. Let's see what we got there. You're going down, zombie. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Speed down, of course. And defender. Nice. Oh, okay, Randy's at 42. Alright, get out of here. <laughs> Shit was getting real. Everybody run. That's not a good situation there. Oh, hold on. Did I get it? <laughs> I guess so. Door was locked. It was supposed to be like an unlocking thing when you walk through that little... little arch there. Alright, there's another one of those dark stalk stalkers down there. So I'm gonna get ready and hit them with all my got when I get down there. Unless it misses... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. What? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ha, <laughs> somebody's iced up. Look at that shit. <laughs> You can't attack it except from behind, and um, sprites all solid uh, ice up. Missed, missed. Of course, We've got lucid barrier up, which is a <sighs> damn it, sprite. Get up. Lucid barrier is keeping us from keeping it from taking. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Stop it! Alright, just... I think it's weak to lightning. But let's find out. Doesn't have a lot of health. If I just get through its damn lucid barrier, didn't tell me what it was weak to. So, just the usual. Did it. Of course, yeah, attacking it from the front, not a good idea. Ooh. 
Well, I think maybe one of the reasons why you could override enemy attacks by countering with your own spells at the time was simply because it, it simply wouldn't be able, the limited hardware of the SNES may not have been able to keep track of that much shit at once. I think also maybe it had something to do with the fact that enemies go and they sort of corner you and they start fucking you up and then you can't really do anything about it. Except for allowing your spells to sort of heal you up for you. Uh, your spells to counter the attacks so you can just... Uh, lucid bearer. So you could block the... have some method of blocking the oftentimes just relentless and crazy ass attacks that you get hit with. Stuff that you won't miss. Or won't be absorbed by the lucid barrier in this case. Removing that... Oh, and it's done. Removing that, the game just becomes a bit of a pain in the ass trying to beat these monsters. And it doesn't work that way. The healing animation takes so long that you can actually sustain multiple hits in the process of getting healed. And I've had it happen in this game where it hasn't happened in the original where I would go down in battle because Prim wasn't able to heal herself fast enough and she gets knocked out in the process of trying to heal. Dumbasses.